Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Pure Ice Loud and Proud and I'm going to stamp and dot it. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 and here is Pure Ice Loud and Proud. It's a gorgeous polish. And I topped it with some quick dry top coat from Pro FX and I'll be using this Beauty Big Bang XL005, my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper and Born Pretty's Purple. Stamp and polish. Figured I better break off into some of these other stamp and polishes I have now that they're out and I can see them. <laughs> I saw this image on this plate, and to me it was rather unusual, and I just had to play with it. I just couldn't help myself. I am cleaning that plate off with some acetone and that cotton ball, and we're gonna do this one again. And I am going to just do the same image on all of my nails. I'm not getting it exactly lined up on every nail the same way, but, you know, it's it, it's nail art. It's, you know, it's, it's okay for it to not be straight up perfect, right? <laughs> I'm really liking this one. And I'm excited that I've pulled out, you know, a different color to stamp with today. Scrape, scrape. But I figured since I've been playing with these plates on my channel, I would show you some nail art that could be done with them. I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and see about cleaning up some of this excess. And ooh, look at that. It did great. It's coming up really nice with the tape. Maybe not all the way, but you know, every little bit helps. It's looking pretty good though pretty happy with it. I am going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone and do a little bit of tidying up because we all know this girl's a ninny when it comes to that cleanup. I am being sure to get around that tip because that's where I always forget to clean. <laughs> I'm also going to be using this Zoya and this one is called Troy if the camera would focus. It's kind of a metallic-y, purple-y. Mm. So I'm going to use my dotting tool and just put some dots in. And I start off trying to stick with those little bubbles that are in the design. And, you know, and I do okay on this first nail. <laughs> kind of got you worried, wondering what's coming next. So I do okay on that one. And then I go just a little bonkers on this one. This one ends up with like just a gazillion dots. And they start kind of climbing on top of each other and, you know, just gets a little squirrely. So on the next nail, after doing this one, I kind of have realized the error of my ways. Because nobody's going to see where those dots were, those circles. So on my next nail, I'm just going to put them where I want them. So I just go crazy on this one. It's dot, 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 just all over the place. It looks fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But I decided, huh, that's a little crazy. So I just start putting them where I want them. <laughs> and I think it works out pretty good. <sighs> so I'm like, yeah, yeah, that works, that works. So I'm just going to kind of continue on with that. And I know you're going to ask what's on my other hand. That's, that one's coming up, I promise. I've got a video on it, too. So I'm going to top this with posh top coat. And um, I did let these dots totally dry because I did not want to be smearing them all over the place. You know, after all that base coat and stamping and I did not want to have to mess something up. But I really did like this one. It was a little different. Got some stamping and some dotting in. But I would love to hear from you. Tell me what you think about this manicure. Here's my swatch photo. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.